Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to my Wednesday message. Um, week 46, I believe, which I believe is the rank advancement week, which means that your sole purpose of existence on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is to move from gold to sapphire, sapphire to platinum, platinum to diamond, diamond to blue diamond, baby. All right. And how, what, where, who, please watch the eight basic building blocks. Watch every single video I've ever made. Go to V2 plus watch the great ones, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, and you get all your answers. All right. Now, this has been an unbelievable week. We just celebrated the festival of light. All right. Called Diwali or Dipavali. It's over. Dipavali is over. All right. It's back to work. It's back to, you know, continue your journey till the closing of 2023 with a bang so that you have enough momentum to go into 2024. All right. Now this week, I've been spending a lot of time with the one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwin. I was blessed to be able to go to his home on Diwali morning, which is a tradition, a non-negotiable tradition in my life. All right. To give thanks to him to get his blessing as my mentor, as my upline, as the man who made me who I am today. All right. And then I went home to celebrate Diwali. It's always sad because my mom is no longer around. So God bless her soul. But she was the, the, the center of Diwali. She, she was the purpose of it in, in my heart. All right. So I miss her tremendously, but we still had Diwali. We celebrated. I spoke to many groups on Zoom to wish you guys. And now we are back to work. And this week on my Wednesday message, I want to talk about something that for some reason has been happening all around me. This concept of what you call or everyone calls challenges. All right. Now, somebody once told me that, Chief, I'm facing so many challenges. That's the reason why I cannot max out. That's the reason why I cannot, you know, achieve my rank. These challenges, this is happening, that is happening. And the guy spent hours describing his challenges in great detail to me all right and i remember okay when i used to go to my upline dato sri vijay ishwin okay with the challenge okay he will always ask me a question are you coming for a solution apu did you come and see me for a solution I said, yes, of course. Now I was young, 23, 24. I demanded my upline to give me answers and solutions. So I used to go to him every single time with a challenge. He never gave me a solution to a specific challenge. He never allowed me to walk away from a meeting with him with a specific answer that could solve that challenge in 2.5 seconds and life goes on. He would not even entertain the challenge. He wouldn't allow me to talk about it or expound or explain it. He was that kind of upline. The minute I start talking and describing the challenge to him, he would walk away, go to the kitchen, grab his coffee, all right, totally distracted with total don't know what, all right? And I'm like almost talking to myself. Now, today, after 25 years of being his student, I understand why. Because there's one guarantee I can give you on this journey, especially the new kids on the block, especially those who are starting the journey or, or those who are facing uh, some challenges already, middle of the journey, end of the journey. There's one guarantee on this journey from zero to hero, from a nobody to a somebody, from zero checks to a max out check. There's going to be challenges. And... I have come to realize today that these challenges are going to happen whether you like it or not. You cannot stop the master plan. You cannot stop what's going to happen to you. All right. But what Dato Sri Vijay did, which I hope this message is clear to all of you, he built me to handle not a challenge, not the challenge, but any challenge. All right. And the first rule he implemented when dealing with the challenge 
any answer you seek to overcome the challenge, any answer you seek to solve the challenge or problem, that answer is within you. Nobody is going to give you that answer. That answer is within you. You know it better than anyone how to handle a negative article in the newspaper, how to handle when your downlines break away, how to handle when your uplines are not responsible, how to handle when you rely on other people's promises and then your life gets screwed up because they don't keep their promises, how to handle the Google search, how to handle the mother-in-law who does not support your journey as an entrepreneur. You know the answer. And he always told me, Apu, you know the answer. Apu means like younger brother, right? You know the answer. You just want me to give you a shortcut on how to solve this, this particular challenge or problem. And it's not going to happen. And for 25 years, he has kept many promises, but this promise he has kept. Until today, he will never give me the answer. Instead, he will ask me, what do you think you should do? How do you think you should have handled this, All right? Based on the value system that he has instilled in us. So the first rule he taught me is no matter how great the challenge, no matter how tough the challenge, the answers you seek are always within you. You know what is the right thing to do. You know how to ignore the negative media. You know when a, a newspaper article is bull sugar or real. Right? You know if your downline leaves you, they were never loyal to begin with because loyal people never leave you. All right? You know that uh, irresponsible upline cannot be the excuse for you to be a failure on this journey, that your promises to your children, that your promises to your, your family are far more important than using a failure as an upline, as an excuse for your lack of success. You know all this. You know all this, all right? You know all the answers. You know that if you're struggling to hit the check, you know the answer is presentation, presentation, presentation. You know, all right, every single answer you seek from supposedly your mentors and uplines. But you need to empty your cup. You need to quell your ego so that answer comes out in front of your bloody face, all right? Like it has been coming for 25 years to me. Number two, there is no such thing as a big challenge or a small challenge. There is no big crisis. There is no small crisis. The minute you categorize crises or challenges by size, all right, you're going to fail in this business. Every challenge is the same. Because if you feel the newspaper article is the biggest challenge in your life and you are in almost severe depression, there is somebody else five lanes away from you in the same city, same town that you are building, who is maxing out, all right? Even though that newspaper article exists in the same vicinity, to him, it is not even qualified as a challenge. So two people with two different mindsets can see things very differently. Some people become suicidal when the challenge, and other people laugh and say, check. You call this a challenge? I'm going to rise higher. I'm going to prove them wrong. And he goes into warrior mode and he builds a bigger check. All right? So don't categorize your challenges by severity. A challenge is a challenge. And the challenge has a purpose. It is not to destroy you. It is not to bring your check smaller. It is not to destroy your organization. That was Levi says. The challenge is only to make you better. Because without facing challenges, you cannot build a $20,000 a week organization. Without facing challenges, you will be incapable of leading leaders who are earning two, three, four, five thousand US a week. You will struggle. So what every challenge does, it makes you stronger. It's like going to the gym, the gym of life. Is not that membership you pay $60 and go there and sweat with strangers. The gym of life are the challenges that are placed strategically ahead of you on your journey. 
all right, to make you stronger, better, more resilient, smarter, have wisdom so you know how to handle the next one and you know how to answer your downlines. You know how to answer people around you. You know how to handle this stuff. So challenges, they're not there to destroy you. You chose to slow down. You chose to quit, all right? You chose to take a break. You chose to complain and crib and not do presentation. The challenge didn't do it. The challenge was supposed to make you stronger. So Dr. Sri Vijay always told me this, all right? The purpose of the challenge is to test you, is to make you stronger. The purpose of the challenge, believe it or not, is to test how serious you are about your dream. Because you remember what Sati said on VCon stage, when he went to Dato and complained about the first negative article in Malaysia, Dato Sri Vijay asked him only one question. Is this challenge bigger or your dream is bigger? Because if the challenge is bigger, your dream will die. You will give up on your dream like that. All right? So that's what happened. The challenges are supposed to test you, prepare you, make you build muscles, all right? You know, in every sense of the word so that you can grow bigger. And because you start weak. Everyone starts their journey weak. Think about it. You started like a little kid going to school. Na, 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 na. I started networking. Boom. First rejection. Oh my God. I hate networking. Boom. Newspaper article. Oh my God. Why did I sign up? Boom. Family doesn't support you. Oh, I hate this business. All right. Don't be a kindergarten kid. All right. Like our children go to kindergarten. The first fall, they learn. All right. They touch the hot water. They learn. Okay, because every best lessons you have learned in life, you only learn when you face the greatest challenges in your life. So it's a gym of life. It's supposed to make you stronger. So don't react to it. Do you understand? All right. And the, th the third thing that the Sri taught me about challenges, which is so important. He always told me that challenges is like that punching dummy, you know. You know, when you were kids, you punched a thing that would bounce back and hit you. All right? Only morons will waste their time punching it, getting angry, getting emotional. Do you understand? No? Because a challenge is something that cannot grow bigger if you don't put fuel. All right? And the mistake people make always on this journey in networking, whether it's downline problems, upline problems, whatever, they amplify it. They spend hours analyzing it. They spend hours talking about it. They counsel with their plans. They call me, all right, just to speak about that bloody nonsense challenge in great detail. And what happens when you do that? You make it bigger than it already was. And it takes up your time, time that you could have spent on presentation, on training, on empowering your network, on, on, on changing lives, on listening to Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, all right? You need to understand this. You cannot control the challenge. You cannot stop it. It will bloody happen. The only thing you are in control of is how you choose to react to it. If you cry every time you face a challenge, you're going to get dehydrated. If you get angry every time you get a, face a challenge, you're going to get hypertension and die of a stroke. If you get depressed every time you face a challenge, right, you're going to be useless as a mother, father, upline, downline, brother, sister, son, daughter. Because that negativity you carry with you impacts everyone else. And that's unfair. So I remember today the lessons of Datu Sri Vijay. The only thing you control in life is how you choose to react to what happens to you, you, how you choose to react. That's it. You don't control anything else. Things will happen. It will rain. It will snow. People write articles, all right? Governments will challenge us, all right? People will try to stop us. The only way, the only thing you are in control is how you choose to react, whether you choose to do a presentation or go under your bed and cry. And that defines what a great networker is. And the final lesson that the Sri Vijay taught me about challenges, it will show you, it always will show you the true character of people around you. It will show you the truth about others. 
It will show you the truth about your husband, your wife, your downline, your upline, your neighbor, your government, your police, your leaders, your, your politicians. All right. And most importantly, it will show you the truth about yourself. And that's what I love about it. I love whenever there is a challenge somewhere, it shows me who are the real loyal leaders of Japa and Datu Sri Vijay. It shows me who are the whims, who are the warriors. It shows me the truth about everyone around you. I promise you this. So, in conclusion on week 46, it will happen. It will continue to happen for generations to come. Life was never meant to be easy. Because Helen Keller said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. all right? And these challenges that we face from the time we wake up till we go to sleep, from zero chat to max out king or queen, that is what the daring adventure is. That is what makes you stronger. That is what makes you powerful. That is what makes you effective. If you ask what qualifies you to become a V partner, it is how you handle challenges throughout your journey of networking. You ask me how somebody become a max out king or queen, the skill is not in networking. The skill is how they handle the challenges they face, how they overcome it, how it made them stronger. So if you, whoever you are, look at me, look at my eyes, whoever you are, wherever you are right now on this journey as Dato Sri Vijay's downlines, all right, as your chief, as your upline representing the founders, let me tell you, if you're facing a challenge, to doing the right thing. And if you're still here listening to me after facing a challenge, you're going to be one of the greatest networkers in the V. And if you have overcome that challenge and you're smiling now and dancing and celebrating, let me tell you again as your chief and upline, the next one is coming and the next one is coming and the next one is coming. And every time you face it and don't react to it and embrace it, all right, and don't look for solutions outside because all solutions are within you. I promise you, you will rise as a person. Your commissions will rise higher. Your organization will grow bigger. So embrace challenges with a smile. This is your chief saying, I love you guys.